HD Insight offers different ways to provision an HD Insight cluster. In this video, I'll use the Windows Azure Management Portal. For other options, click one of the links. Before I can provision an HD Insight cluster, I must have a Windows Azure subscription and a Windows Azure storage account. If you don't have a subscription, you can get a 30-day free trial. Hadoop clusters use the Hadoop Distributed File System, also called HDFS. HD Insight implements the HDFS on Windows Azure Blob Storage. It's called Windows Azure Storage Blob, or WASB. To create a storage account, I sign on to the Windows Azure Management Portal and choose to create a new storage account. I provide a name and a location. I choose a data center location that is near to me. Please note HD Insight does not support using affinity groups. Both the storage account and the HD Insight cluster must be located in the same data center. I wait until the status column shows online. Each storage account has two access keys. To be able to retrieve the MapReduce job results later in the video, I will need the storage account name and one of the access keys. With a storage account created, I am ready to create an HD Insight cluster. There are two options. In this video, I'll use the Quick Create option. Using the Quick Create option, I only need to provide a few parameters. The cluster name must be a unique Windows Azure service name. The cluster size determines the number of nodes in my HD Insight cluster. Using the Custom Create option, I can specify an arbitrary number up to the limit of my account. I must contact Microsoft Support to increase the limit. The Hadoop username is set to Admin. You can customize it using the Custom Cluster Create option. By choosing an existing storage account, I co-locate the HD Insight cluster in the same location as the storage account. In my case, both the storage account and the cluster are located in the East U.S. Data Center. It takes a few minutes to provision a cluster. When it's ready, the cluster shows up in the HD Insight cluster list. I can open the cluster page. The dashboard page shows the properties of the cluster. For example, the linked resources section shows the blob storage account used as the default HD Insight file system. Using the custom cluster create option, I can link the cluster to more storage accounts and SQL databases for storing Hive and Uzi metadata. When specified, those resources will be listed here as well. The first item in the list is the default file system storage account. I can click the default storage account to see the content. Using the Quick Cluster Create option, the default container has the same name as the cluster name. Within the container, I see the system files. A couple of the files will be used in the Run MapReduce Jobs video clip. The Hadoop-examples.jar file contains the sample MapReduce applications. One of the examples is the word counting application. The DaVinci.txt file is the input file for the word counting application. Going back to the cluster page, there is the Monitor tab showing the MapReduce job activities. On the Configuration page, I can enable Remote Desktop, or RDP. Once RDP is enabled, I can click Connect to connect to the head node using RDP. This concludes this video presentation. Click one of the items to learn more.